Hey everyone, it's Ernest from Viggle Tips and 3.0 is here. <laughs> okay, the Viggle app itself hasn't changed too much. So this video is going to just walk you through some of the basic changes in the Viggle app. We are slowly gonna get to all the other perk apps. Just give me time because this is a learning curve just like the rest of you. So. The first thing that is different is the rewards area. So let's tap on rewards and you'll see here that the page is totally different now. There's no physical rewards anymore. The first part is buy gift cards. Now you can see here that there's all types of gift cards. Let's just click on Amazon real quick. You can buy a gift card directly from the app. Now you're better off if you buy at least $5. You'll see that the point structure is a little different for a $2 card or less. So if you wait till at least $5, you're getting 1,000 points per dollar. Uh, you're doing much better that way. Now you can access this area in any of the Perk apps um, that you want to, but this is how it looks in Viggle. So you can go back here and there's all sorts in here. You can actually, um, here's another one here. The, the point structure is pretty much the same. Um, you can actually just scroll through. They have, uh, a, oh, loading. They have a ton of different cards. I think even more than maybe Swagbucks has. Um, here's PayPal. PayPal's a little bit more expensive. You might be better off doing that on Swagbucks depending on if you use Swagbucks or not or how important that is for you. Um, it takes a few days for gift cards to come through. Maybe not quite as long as Swagbucks. Uh, it's been a while since I've redeemed a gift card. You can also search alphabetically, just click the A to Z tab. If you tap on Get Cash, it's going to actually take you to the App Store to download Perk Wallet. Uh, we'll do that at another time. If you tap on Win Prizes, it's gonna take you to Sweepstakes, and here it's asking for Perk Points to enter this. Uh, we don't really do that, so. Uh, I just ignore that. There's also bid and win, which um, seems to be coming up blank. Yeah, we're not doing that, forget it, so. If you scroll down a little bit, there is a section called buy token packs. Tokens are handed out uh, randomly. I don't know how people are earning them or what, but you actually um, use them to enter sweepstakes. Now it's blank here in the Viggle app. Viggle's a little punchy uh, in the past 24 hours, so you can find this in other perk areas. Um, it's actually just used to enter sweepstakes and stuff, and we are not going to bother with that. So we kind of just skip the whole token thing. They're different than points. If anybody knows of a way to convert tokens to points, let us know. Here's the perk catalog, which seems to be a little empty as well. So, All right, so let's go back. A lot in the app has not changed um, if we go back here to the main page and just tap on bonus shows, you'll see that the carousel is basically the same. There's still 2x and 3x for points and so forth. Um, you can go to the game section here. Now the Viggle Live looks a little different because you're in a perk point set. So you're not going to see 750 or 1500. You're going to see 14 or 30 points. These are perk points. They're not Viggle points. We're not doing big points like that. The point structure is different. So you have to get that out of your head that, oh, I could earn 750 points on Viggle. No, you can't. Not anymore because Viggle is now just a perk app. So these points are going to look different, but we're in perk land now. We're not in Viggle land anymore. We're in perk and things have changed drastically. So if you're used to seeing that big number, just remember, you know, it's good. So all the other basic stuff is here on this page. Now, if you go to the menu in the top left, everybody's got this on Android or iOS. Here's your menu. Scroll down almost to the bottom and it says exchange Viggle points. Now, it's coming up blank for me, but in Android, it actually came up and it'll show you how many Viggle points you still have setting and how many you can convert right now, which if you haven't done so, will be 60,000. And all you have to do is tap convert and it will happen. I'm not sure why it's not showing up for me in the iPad. I've restarted my iPad a few times since yesterday and forced close and restarted Viggle. Um, on Android, it seems to be working fine. Other people on their iPhones aren't having problems either. So maybe a few logouts and backends, um, it will show, log out and log in, it will show up here. Um, but it will, it will show up. So don't sweat it too much if you don't see it right away. But for some reason on our iPad, it's not quite doing it just yet. If you will go back to 
the menu in the top left corner. And a lot of people have asking, where's my points history? Well, if you click on settings or tap on settings, I keep saying click, and tap on account information, you will see all of your information there. You can also go to perk.com slash account to find the exact same screen. It really wasn't loading very well in the app. It was kind of cut off, and I'm not gonna show you my address and everything or my points history. Uh, but the exact same screen is on perk.com slash account. And you can probably find your uh, history, your account information in any of the Perk apps in the menu or just go to perk.com slash account. You can go to about Perk points here. It's basically gonna give you the breakdown of everything we've talked about and that Figgle has talked about in emails. Um, so you can just kind of tap around and um, if you tap on Get Perk apps here, it's going to show you this screen which is also on getperk.com. We have been using Perk TV and Perk Pop Quiz. Uh, Pop Quiz is actually kind of cool. It's a trivia game. You answer five questions at a time, and there's all kinds of categories from TV, movie, music, transportation, uh, sports, and there's subcategories. We were killing it yesterday in the Family Guy subsection, and you get a few points for that. We are in 60 points in no time. We were just whipping through that thing. So find something that you're good on or the category that you're good in and just whip through some questions. It's kind of fun, actually. I mean, it's a trivia game. Everybody loves a good trivia game. Perk TV is a lot like Swagbucks, um, and it's actually a little better because you're getting one point per video instead of two points for every five videos. Um, now, this is Invite a Friend to Viggle. I don't know if the URL is the same, but if you go to perk.com and in the upper right corner or getperk.com, and in the upper right corner, click Invite a Friend, you'll get a unique URL that you can share with people to join Perk under your name. Not part of your account, but just as a referral. So that's kind of the ins and outs of the Viggle app. You know, some things have changed, some things have not. It's basically the point structure. That's going to change, and some people see it as a ripoff, some people see it as a plus, especially people that use Perk all the time anyway. Now Viggle has just been absorbed into that, so it's one more way to earn points. You can only convert 60,000 points per month. However, if you earn 1,000 Perk points, which a lot of people that are on Perk say that that's not so hard to do if you just work at it for a few days, that for every thousand points you earn on Perk, you can convert another 20,000 on Viggle and kind of clean out your points that way. Now here, the green area and um, the icon in the upper right to check in is actually the same thing. It's gonna ask you if you're listening to a song or watching a TV show first and then try to check you in. So basically the earn Perk points and the uh, little Viggle icon in the top right are the exact same thing. Um, everything else is basically the same though as far as the carousel, your last check-in, your last song match, and things like that. If you ever have a question, be sure to search the blog first. Go to vigletips.com slash tagged slash perk. That's how you search for any tag. You can put any word in there you want to that we use frequently in the tags on an entry. If you go to that particular URL, you will find every entry related to Perk. I promise you, we tag them appropriately and they are all there. If you don't find the answer you're looking for, give us some time. We are in contact with our Viggle people. We do have people, not just a person anymore. And they have been super helpful in answering questions. Go to vigletips.com ask. Be sure to ask a question um, if you really need to, but also search the blog first. We're putting out as much accurate and current information as we can. Believe me, we have our Viggle contacts on Skype, all right? We're Skyping with them. We are instant messaging with them constantly to get the right information out to you. So always, always, always check the blog. If you really can't find it, drop a question in the ask box and I am happy to help you with that. All right, that's it just for the Viggle app. I'm gonna to try to do videos for every single Perk app. Just give me some time because I'm on the same learning curve you are. Uh, but we're gonna get through this. Viggle might be powered by Perk, but Viggle Tips has always been powered by you and don't think that I don't appreciate that. All right, so give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to click subscribe to Viggle Tips TV because obviously there's going to be a lot more coming and we will see you in uh, future days and future weeks with more videos on how to get through all of this perk stuff. All right, we'll see you out there. Thanks for watching. Bye.